Hey, it's Taylin again. This is my most recent data visualization. Um, I'm working with an entomologist from the local research station on an invasive plant species uh, called the hawkweed. Um, we're working with two different species and how a gall wasp um, inhibits its growth uh, to use as a natural biocontrol. So the experiments they ran dealt with two separate species in four different ages. So what I've got here is I've got two species and then I have each age as well. So the species are whiplash and mouse ear. And then there are the main stolons, which are closer to the plant. And then there's the lateral stolons, which spread more. Hawkweed is a spreading plant, so it's um, important to be able to control those as well. So the blue, the black and gray is the representation of main stolons and the greens are representative of the lateral stolons. So this is looking at the average number of stolons based on the experiment. And what you can do with this is you can actually click and drag each box to look at, you can, you can compare um, the average number and like proportionally how they compare. And you can do main and lateral, which is fine and dandy. And you can find your own, it gives the user the, the ability to explore it in their own way. And then on the side here, there is a pop-out menu. Gives you the legend of what everything means. And then just like with my music visualization, you can actually save the frame if you want to save um, what you're seeing on the screen to use in the future. And you can turn the data, like the actual numbers on the program. This program pulls in all of this data raw from a CSV file, and it actually calculates the aver these averages uh, on the fly so that if we had a different set of data that was formatted the same, we could just pull it in and we could see their values right away. So you can see the average uh, number of stolons uh, ungalled and galled. The galled is what the ideal um, thing is because that's how the wasps uh, live on the plant and inhibit its growth. So you can see, for example, with these older species, they have a lot more, there's a lot more lateral growth, but they're really, the proportion isn't really that big in the long run. So it's kind of interesting to find that as well. You can turn all the labels off as well to uh, look, just look at it differently. And then the funnest part is the reset button. It will rearrange everything back to its starting position. And then everything is always good to go to start rearranging again. If you want to move multiple things, you can overlap them and then just click and drag in the overlap area. You can move multiple things that way. I'm just moving them all around to really give you an idea of how this reset can look. It's pretty fun. And the further away from its original position it is, the faster it will go. So it's kind of cool. Um, in the future, I'm looking to have some preset um, positions so you can see instantly see the data in different ways instead of having to just manually start at the beginning and move every single one of them. Um, but this has been an ongoing project I've been working on this semester, and I've actually represented this with crochet as well. Uh, basically exactly the same thing, except it's the length is made with green, black, gray crochet, um, crocheted strands. Um, so it's a, that gives you an ability to actually pick it up and feel them and compare them in your hands and in 3D space, which is pretty sweet as well.